Being a lead designer at Lionhead is actually an interesting job because we have one of the industry design luminaries working here in Peter Mono. So I work very closely with Peter to define the game vision and then I work specifically day to day on the team trying to bring those pillars and that vision to reality. And along the way I work pretty much several times a week with Peter reviewing the game, talking about the game and trying to execute on both what we want to do and what he is encouraging us to do. You're still going to be a hero. You're still going to have swords, you're still going to have guns, you're still going to have magic. But this time you're going to be leading a country as well as that. We're not going to make it easy for you though, there are going to be challenges in your rule. Like many of us have seen, the leaders that we elect in today's world often age badly in the first couple of weeks when they realize the enormity of the problem that they're taking on. We have always been a game that tries to be um, fairly accessible and something that uh, hits a broader audience. So with Fable 3 what we're doing is keeping that foremost when we're thinking about building it. But those that are long-term Fable fans won't be disappointed. Everything that they've loved about the Fable franchise will still be there. A role-playing game is all about this is me playing the role of a hero and a king or a queen. It's really about not getting rid of every element of an RPG, but certainly making it something that people who aren't interested in that side of thing will still enjoy. New Technology in Fable 3, um, I think the main thing for me is uh, Simon nodding in the background. Uh, the tools are actually a bit slower at the moment. So I probably wouldn't want to talk about that. We've got a real issue with that. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Obviously, with Fable 2, we had a stable code base to work from, so we've mostly been working on new cool things to go and put into the game. One of the things that people have come to expect from Fable is innovation. And in Fable 3, we've really pushed the boat out. We've totally looked at the morph system, thrown it all away, and started again. And the first thing that we've got is something called extreme morphs. Now, these extreme morphs are on an expression. So you're walking along and someone just upsets you. You can press this expression and out of your back appears these huge angel wings. A shaft of light comes down and shines on you. Everyone around you steps back and, oh my goodness, there, you're showing your true character off. Aggressive. Smile. <laughs> Stern. We've got hot syncing in the tools now, so all the artists can edit a texture and pop it into the game immediately just by hitting a button, and it never works. It never fails, obviously. Can I read you that bit? Never works. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> never works. That's a Freudian slip. There's another thing which I think we could use for morphing, which is really interesting, which I've never seen before. And that is the weapon that you use. Why not have weapons change as you use them, that adapt themselves visually to your combat style and to your alignment? So imagine, how do you make the evil sword of ages? You make it by using it in an evil way. And as you use it, as you kill innocent victims, so you will see it glow and drip with blood all the time. I want everybody in the world to have unique weapons. As we teach you our new way of doing weapon customization, we need to think about how we teach that to the player. Making sure that every facet of it makes sense, is clear, is understandable, isn't too complicated, but is deep enough. And all of that is very hard, very challenging. But it's also very fun. More exciting is with the lighting system. In Fable 2, I think, to generate the lighting for all the levels took a bank of six very, very powerful machines seven days to generate all the lighting for everything. Today, we've got a bank of one machine which generates all the levels in five hours, which is a lot better. We've also been looking at how you express yourself. And we're giving you the ability to touch things. Now this may sound strange, but imagine this, being able to reach out and touch your girlfriend in the game. Being able to hold, persuade, pull, push, all that can be done dynamically. There is a fantastic amount of fighting, and great combat, and a really swift, pacey storyline, which is really engaging and really snappy. 
Fable 3 is going to be a damn good adventure.